Hey everyone, so I am here this afternoon with what I'm going to call my uh, pre-birthday haul. I turn 21 next Saturday, which I am super excited about, of course, for many reasons. Um, and so I went on a shopping trip this last weekend and I picked up a couple things in the past week or two that I just kind of wanted to share with you guys because I was really excited about them. Um, and this is probably like a series of a few hauls that will come. I may do a birthday haul depending on when I get or depending on if you guys would like to see it. I feel like I sound like, oh, I'm going to get a bunch of stuff, but I don't really know what I'm getting yet, so I don't really know what may be to come, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to kind of start with the thing I got first. Uh, this first thing is a new me straightener. Uh, I had a coupon code from my glam from a bag I think it was like last March or April or something and they it was a hundred dollars off uh, one of the hair appliances or I think the uh, hair extensions I knew so I decided to go with the straightener um, this is the vintage um, it's kind of got this quilted pattern I think it's kind of classy looking um, and I don't know I really like it so far I've used it a few times my hair is pretty straight I did straighten my hair with it today until nice and straight yep uh. Um, I don't know, so I've used it quite a bit. The only thing I don't like is it doesn't have, like, a clamp to hold it closed, if that makes sense. If I want to, like, leave it laying on the counter, you have to leave it open. Um, other than that, I really like it. There's lots of, um, there's, like, a wide range of, like, heats to, like, set it. So I can put it higher or lower. There's on and off switch. It heats up super fast. It gets super hot, and it strains my hair really well. I don't know, I'm just really pleased with it. If you want, I mean, I can do a video of me, like, how I, my hair care routine or something. But it's really not that complicated or special. I was just excited to get that at a pretty reasonable price. Um, the next things I'm going to share with you, I first of all, I have a candle burning back there. Hopefully you can see it right about there. Um, it's my leaves candle, and I did pick them up on Labor Day weekend when it, the candles were 2 for 20. So I got that one, and then I also got this sweet cinnamon pumpkin. And everyone knows what leaves smells like, and this one's just like pump, sweet cinnamon pumpkin. It's very pumpkin-y and spicy. Um, it says, a fall harvest favorite inspired by delicious treats found at the farmer's market. Pumpkin pie, vanilla cream, and spice. So that's a very accurate description of this. I love this one. I've been burning both of them like crazy. Probably going to need more soon. Um, and then also there, I had a coupon they sent out through the email, and it was a free item of your choice. And it had to be just had to be under fourteen dollars, I think. So even like the fragrance mists were included. I have so many bath products and perfumes and things. And I was like, I the lady suggested she's like, you could even get a mini candle with that. And I was like, well, might as well. So I got this one. It's spice cider. It kind of has burnt unevenly. Not sure why, but it smells really good. Um, the description says it's a delicious blend straight from the orchard that molds three varieties fre varieties of fresh apples spiced with nutmeg and cloves, and it's a 9.50 originally. And these are also, I'm sure you know, are originally they're 19.50. So I got all three of the candles for twenty dollars in tax. So I was pretty pleased with that deal, um, and I've just been burning them like crazy, like I said. Um, then a couple days ago I went over to CVS because I had some extra bucks that I wanted to spend and Diet Coke was on sale, it was 3 for 10, which is a pretty good deal for Diet Coke, at least in my area, like a 12 pack, and I go through Diet Coke ridiculously, I try really bad. I'm, I have a, a sparkling ice, which is just like flavored water, uh, flavored fizzy water, and it's like, it literally has like a f very few ingredients, um, so it's actually pretty good for, what, good for you. So trying to drink other things, but I still drink Diet Coke all the time. So anyways, I also needed a nail polish base coat, so I picked up a couple. The Sally Hansen products were buy one, get one half off, and I was trying to look for another polish that I might want, like a color, but I have so much nail polish, I was like, I'll just get two base coats, and I, I always use a base coat when I paint my nails. So first one is the Miracle Cure, which is um, a nail polish, or a nail strengthener, uh, and then this one is the Nail Growth Miracle. Um, it's a salon strengthener, and it's supposed to help your nails grow longer. So, um, I've used this one a couple times. I like the texture. Um, I don't know. Sometimes, you can actually, like, really tell, I feel like, if your, your base coat is really good. Um, I mean, the actual nail polish and the top coat that you use have an effect, but I know for a while I was using a nail polish base coat. It was from Zoya. Nothing against Zoya, but it was, like, a ridge-filling base coat, and it just was not doing anything for me. My nails were chipping. They were really bendy. They were not strong, they were not growing, 
and I would, finally I was like, I need a new base coat. I got a new base coat and it's been better since then. So I'm excited to try out this one and I really like this one so far. And so as I mentioned, they're buying it in half off. So I got them both for about 15 and then I used extra bucks and things. So I got really good deals on them. And then I actually went shopping, like went shopping, shopping, which was super excited. Um, we went to the big mall in Iowa and um, <laughs> I got just a... Not a lot, but a few things. Um, as I said, my 21st birthday is next weekend, so I wanted I wanted a birthday dress from Express. I had a couple of really good coupons, so I was like, I'm just going to pick out something. I didn't find a dress, but what I found I think is super cute. So, first thing, I'd seen this skirt before, and I really loved it. And so here it is. We can see it. It's just got this really cool, it's completely covered in sequins. Just this cool line detail. It's got this kind of muted gold, white, and black sequins. I don't know. I just think it looks really nice, really classy, and really fun for going out. Um, so I found that, and that was the original price of that was $59.50. And then um, I got just a black sort of top, and this was $39.90. And this I'm going to wear tucked into that skirt. Um, it's pretty basic. Oh, I got everything I think I got was a medium. Yep. Um, I really like the sleeves too because I have kind of bigger arms uh, and these sleeves are pretty loose so they just will kind of hang over your arm and it's, it's, they're pretty crop sleeves but they're still not a tank top if that makes sense. I don't know and I really like this like fabric, this sort of like silky fabric. Uh, and then the last shirt I got to kind of pair with just a black skirt. I don't know for sure. I'm going out both nights, both Friday and Saturday so I don't know for sure what I'm going to wear when. Um, but this is so pretty. Just completely like sequined with the gold and black and glitter and it's really cute. It's kind of the same material as the other shirt. It's very similar. The back's a little bit more sheer, but I really love this shirt a lot too. So and this one was $49.90. So if you add that all up, that's that's kind of pricey. That's like $150, I think. Um, but I had, I'd been given from Express, they always send out, like, you know, you get birthday coupons from everywhere. Express sent me a $40 gift card, which was awesome, because I'm, um, we have a credit card with them when we're with the Next program, which is, like, their rewards program. So I had that, and then I had a $25 coupon, and then I had, like, a $15 reward on the card that, um, like, you, you buy so many things, you build up points, and then you get, um... A $15 reward every so often so I only paid like $74 for all three of these things which from Express that's a pretty good deal and they're all really nice and even if I don't wear them on my, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna wear them on my 21st and then I can even if I don't but even if I do I can wear them many times after that though everyone said that those shirts you can wear with anything with jeans or dress pants or whatever so, moving on, it was Forever 21, um, it was like the last stop, we went on Sunday to the mall, and I guess the mall closed us at 6, which we knew, but we didn't get up early, and you know, whatever, we're not, yeah, whatever, so it was like literally like quarter till 6, and my sister was like, I need something to wear for next weekend too, because she's coming to my party and stuff, um, so she wanted to find just like a cheap going out dress, um, like a cheap nice one, so I just kind of glanced at the jewelry, and I saw this necklace, and it's kind of... I mean, it's kind of, like, big and blingy. I thought it'd be so cute with just that, um, the plain black shirt. And I feel like it's appropriate for a birthday. It's a little bit too much for me to wear, like, every day, but I know statement necklaces are really in, and maybe I will get a chance, another opportunity to wear it, except for when I'm going out. And then, oh, and that was $12.80. So, and then I got this bracelet to go with it, and it was $8.80. I think it's really pretty, and I think they go together pretty well. And I like that it has a little, um, like, crystals or whatever in it. I'll probably end up wearing just, like, plain stud earrings with it, since if I'm going to go wear the big necklace. Um, and then, I guess to go on with the clothes, I got just one thing from J.Crew. I finally tried on pixie pants, and now I understand why everyone loves them. My sister was in there, and she had tried on, I think, the wrong size previously, but she was like, I'll try on a different size, and maybe they'll fit me better. They did. Um, I tried on, I tried on one, and they are awesome. They're, like... They like, I don't know, they're super stretchy and super comfy. They're sort of like form to your body, but the material is really nice and thick, so it's not going to like cling to you, if that makes sense. I don't know, they're so comfy. They're $88, and I was like, I just can't afford that right now. I just bought a bunch of other stuff. 
So we decided when we go back next month, sometime in October, we're going to just pick them up. It'll be like my little um, fall winter splurge. And so from J. Crew, I just got this t-shirt, or I guess long sleeve t-shirt. It's super cute, just striped with little buttons up on the top. Um, it's the it's a painted painter tee, and I got it in a large. Um, I just think it was really cute. They're originally forty five, and what kind of got me is they were ten dollars off. They were thirty five, and then I'm a student, so I get a discount as well. So I paid like I paid thirty dollars or like thirty two dollars somewhere around there for a shirt, which is I mean it's expensive just for a shirt, but it's from J Crew. It's really nice. It's pretty classic, which is the blue and cream colored stripes. So I don't know. I really like that. I'm a big fan of stripes. And I really like J. Crew's clothes in general, so I just decided to sort of treat myself to that. And then we went to a little bit more treatment. We went to Sephora. You, you gotta love the Sephora. You gotta love Sephora. So let me just <laughs> I'll get everything out quick. Okay, so from Sephora, I got my big purchase, I guess, what I'll say is this. Um, it's a Carol's Daughters Manoy. Uh, repairing hair mask and my sister recommended this to me we don't really have similar hair but she said it felt really nice and it's just supposed to help your hair be it's like less breakage and it's supposed to be like moisturizing and just be really good for your hair all around so I picked it up I did use it in the shower last night um, there's a whole bunch in here it smells pretty good it's interesting but it smells good it's gonna last me forever it was like I think it was 32 Maybe 30, 28, somewhere around in there. Um, but I just kind of decided to go for it. I knew I wanted a hair mask, and I was like, might as well get a nice one. My hair, since I dyed the ends blonde, um, they're kind of, I don't know, they're still pretty blonde. But since I dyed the ends blonde, the ends have been really, really dry and brittle and breaking off and everything. So I decided this would be good to try. Um, I just put it in after I washed my hair in the shower and then like I shaved my, washed my body and shaved my legs and things so that kind of gave it enough time to settle into the ends and then I washed it out. Um, my hair doesn't feel weighed down or anything today, it just feels pretty soft. It just feels nice. Um, the other thing I actually bought was um, the Lacatan, Lacatan, I don't never know how to say it and I feel embarrassed but um, it's just one of their hand creams. It's a velvet hand cream and it's rose and I just, I like the scent of roses. But I don't know, I just, I wanted one of these hand creams for quite some time. And so I was just like, I'm just going to go for it. It was $10, but eh, it's worth it, right? $10 for hand cream. I love hand creams, um, especially during the winter time. And as it's starting to get colder, I know I'm just going to live with hand cream. Um, I put it on all the time, probably like an unhealthy amount. But I really like this one, and it smelled really, really nice. And then I got some foundation samples. I'm looking for a new foundation. I actually went in there and I was like, I'm going to buy the Tarte 12 hour um, clay foundation. I was like, I'm just going to buy it. Yeah. Um, but the lady was like, oh, I'll just give you a sample. So I was like, I'll just take the sample and I'll try it out and decide if I like it or not. Um, and I got the shade Light Medium. And she just gave me a little sample like this. I do have it on today. You probably, I mean, can't tell my foundation differences. Feels pretty nice. Um, maybe it's not as matte as I would like. Um, but it feels good. I said it was some powder. I think it looks okay. It had really nice coverage. Um, so I did like that a lot. And then the other one she had me try is the Kat Von D Locket Foundation. It's an L48. I have no idea where that lies on the spectrum of her foundations. I've never even looked at Kat Von D stuff, I don't think. Maybe like once. Um, but so the bottle, what I, what I liked was the bottle had, of this was like a really nice like pump bottle. and I mean, which is silly. But, so I'm excited to try this. It's super full coverage, and it has, like, a super, like, velvet matte finish. So, I'm going to try out both of these and just kind of decide. And then another foundation sample I got um, is this Benefit Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow Foundation. I know a lot of you have probably seen and heard a ton about this. Um, and I got, the lady gave me in the shade I'm So Money Honey, um, which is kind of in the middle of the spectrum, but it's just this one right here. And... The sample is really, really generous. Sorry about my phone. Um, but they sent out an email, like, Friday or Saturday, and it was, if you go into the store, you can ask for a sample, or they you, they had a coupon code, you could enter in online for a free little sample of this. And this is 5 milliliters, 0.17 fluid ounces. And it's like a little pump. It's just like the normal packaging. It's just a little mini one. So I'm excited to try this out as well. Um, I generally like 
more heavier foundations, which sounds silly. Most people like lightweight and, you know, like glowy foundations, but I like the like a little bit heavier, it'll be keep me mad, everything foundation. But I'm definitely going to try this out and I'm hoping I like it because I really do like Benefit products in general. So I have a few foundations to try out which I'm super pumped about. And then I think the last thing in the haul is just um, my little birthday gift. I actually haven't even opened this yet so I'm going to open it here. Um, it's just the happy birthday It's and this year's gift. Oh okay, you guys probably know but it's the your birthday month you get a free gift from Sephora for being a beauty insider and so this year it's the sugar fresh sugar lip balms um and so this one is just sugar fresh oh this is just the treatment one um it's kind of thin but that's pretty that's a good amount of product right there it smells good too um and then the other one is the sugar rose and so this is a little bit more of a reddish pinkish color. It's the same same size tube and everything. Um, this one says SPF 15. Oh, so does this one. I was like, I think they both have SPF 15. So, I don't know. That's just really cute because these are like $22 or something for the full size. I mean, it's bigger than this. But that's kind of a lot to pay for just a lip balm. So I'm excited to use these. I do have another one that I like from the brand. I'm excited to try these colors out. And I think with that, that's everything that I got. Uh, please leave a comment down below if you bought anything recently or if you filmed a video, leave a video response. I'd love to watch it. I love watching hauls. Um, yeah, if you've tried anything I have here or if you're interested in hearing reviews of anything I purchased, please let me know. So with that, I think that's it. Like I said, comment please on anything, subscribe, and thumbs up this video if you did enjoy watching the haul or if you like the stuff that I purchased. And with that, I will talk to you guys later. Bye!